This was uh, after a firefight. Uh, we were doing a four day mission crossing uh, fobs in the valley. Just got hit. It was uh, the aftermath of a firefight. It took me 10 years to be able to okay and look at it. What is it like to look at it now? I don't know. It's a memory. I went through it. It reminds me who I am and what I've done. Twenty-two veterans per day commit suicide. Most of the population don't understand what the symptoms are. They don't understand that this is just not an angry person. This is somebody who's been truly damaged by war. I come from a long line of military. My family was all military. Our son had joined the United States Air Force, and in 2006, he passed away. And that was the segue into finding more purpose. Really, I think a lot of things is personal relationships too, so trying to get out. I went back to school in 2007 to get my uh, psychology degree, and I stumbled upon equine-assisted psychotherapy. Nothing makes me feel alive like combat did. I miss that bond. When you trust someone in those parameters, it's hard to trust someone in a different setting. It's not like they show in the movies. We're not psychotic animals. We want peace above anything. Anywhere I would try to get help that is for veterans, they shut me out, they kick me out, deal with it. I was on a pure path of destruction. We use the horses as metaphors. They are 1,100 pound animals, so the veteran has to work out how to get the horse to want to go with them. And they start to see how their behaviors have affected their family members or those around them. Dennis was in a really dark place. I heard about the ranch, I was like, let's, let's just try it. Let's see what we can do. He is a Purple Heart recipient, along with many other medals, but it took him a good six months before he could even really start to talk to me. So we had to go very, very carefully and very slowly. I can't communicate well with human beings. I'm strange, I'm awkward, I'm weird, don't care, it's who I am. It's a matter of respect of, like with an animal. Words don't need to be said to express who you are. Coming out here, he's not thinking about all those other things that are always going on like tornadoes in his head. It's good for him knowing that another life depends on him. Normal life to me would look like a house, have some kids, and it's difficult. And it shouldn't be that way. I think real estate really trained me to deal with many, many different types of people. In particular, working with the veterans, it's got unique challenges. And I personally feel that we owe our veterans somewhere that they can feel safe when they come back from war. That's what the ranch does. It makes them feel safe back home again and to move forward into somewhat of a new normal in life. Dennis is a, such a unique person such a loyal person and that's something so <laughs> it's something so hard to find in people if you're a veteran this is a place to feel at home and feel safe and feel like you won't be judged it made me a better person <laughs> completely